Hey everybody, Steven from PC Gamer here, and we have something really special for you. This is Ryan Morrison. He's the video game attorney. Hello. And I'm going to be asking Ryan some really important legal questions to do with video games. Ryan, do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about video games? I do. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. CSGO skin gambling, is that still a problem? It's still a problem. And uh, is skin gambling even gambling? Yeah, absolutely. If I scam someone out of a skin, am I guilty of anything? There's three schools of thoughts on that. The short answer is probably. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other two schools of thoughts? Uh, yes and no. Okay. <laughs> Has Valve done enough to protect players from these schemes? Absolutely not. How many video games have been sentenced to death? Oh, uh, just three. Player salaries are usually kept secret. Uh, what is your estimation for the highest paid player in esports? I think uh, the highest is probably around two million a year base salary. Do you think they, they deserve a salary that high? I think they deserve higher. They're the lifeblood of the industry and they're usually not taken care of properly. Which developer, in your opinion, should be doing more to protect their esports communities? I mean, if Valve could start by doing anything, uh, I think Blizzard does a lot. When you lose a case, do you reload a save and try again? Uh, every single time, and we hire better staff. Should players legally own the games that they purchase through Steam? Uh, right now, if you die, you can't even leave your Steam account to your kids. You can't sell your game secondhand. I think that is something that needs to change for sure. Is it illegal or is it just wrong for developers to increase the price of their games before a sale? I think that's a terrible business practice and they should all be thrown off a bridge for that. Do you think the Steam marketplace is in danger of forming a monopoly on digital game sales? It already has, hasn't it? What is something that you think Valve's doing really well with regards to Steam? Uh, they make a lot of money. <laughs> should I make a fan game based on Mario? No. Should I make a fan game based on Sonic? Absolutely not. Should I make a fan game based on Mega Man? No. Should I make a fan game based on Pokemon? De 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 definitely not again. Should I make a fan game based on The Legend of Zelda? Yes. No, I'm kidding. Please don't make a fan game. And and I'm stop with the Nintendo's bad and Sega's good. They all are going to send you a cease and desist and they're all going to ruin your life. Please don't make a fan game. Should I make Overwatch porn? <laughs> no. Uh, but we get called out on that a lot. We get so many consultations about that and we're not helping you. It might be fair use, but certainly nothing we're going to court over. Uh, should I start a World of Warcraft private server? No. Will Shigeru Miyamoto starve if I emulate Nintendo games? He will literally just waste away. You can't do it. Please don't hurt him. Will I go to jail if I emulate a game? You personally go to jail over emulating a game? Probably not. Is it allowed? No. So, you know, you can also probably... OJ got away with murder. Doesn't mean you should murder people. Do you someday hope to become the video game judge? <laughs> no. I can't imagine a worse hell. I'm happy with video game returning. Which video game character would make a really excellent lawyer? Interesting. Uh, I just finished Uncharted and not, he's not even in this one, but Nathan Drake. He has the right attitude for it. Thank you so much, Ryan. We know the law is not a simple thing, but you've definitely made it a lot more digestible for us. We really appreciate that. Thank you for having me. But seriously, your specific facts will always change the outcome of, of a case, so please talk to a lawyer before you do anything. Awesome. Literally well, anything. <laughs> well, thank you so much. If people want to follow you, what's the best way to do that? I'm on Twitter at Mr. Ryan Morrison, uh, and MorrisonLee.com is our law firm. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.